This case takes place in London, in the United Kingdom. Recently, a story has hit the headlines in the United Kingdom that has everyone's blood boiling, including myself. I'm not too sure if those in the United States or the rest of the world would have heard of this case, but here is what we know so far. Thomas O'Halloran was an 87-year-old man who was born in Ireland and was one of 16 children. He moved to England almost 70 years ago and lived in London in an area called Greenford. He resided there for over 40 years. Thomas was described as a well-liked and well-loved member of the community. He worked hard throughout his life and was a retired engineer. Many of those who lived in Greenford knew who Thomas was, as he could often be found busking outside his local supermarket, selflessly raising money for various charities. Recently, he had been playing his accordion to raise money for refugees who have been affected by the current conflict in Ukraine. Some of those living in the area had given him the nickname Mr. Bond because he would drive around on his scooter and rev the engine, whilst others knew him as Uncle Tom or the Music Man. On the 16th of August, 2022, Thomas had spent the day busking for charity with his accordion outside the local Tesco. After he was done, he made his way home. Thomas and his daughter lived together, so he made a call to her and said he would be home soon. But it is theorized that somebody had noticed Thomas busking and noticed that he was in the possession of a decent amount of money. Tragically, as Thomas was making his way home and was on the last stretch of road before he reached his destination, this person decided to confront Thomas. It's believed that this person tried to rob him, but it went terribly wrong. This person stabbed Thomas in the chest and neck, and then they fled the scene. After being attacked, Thomas rode his scooter down the road and tried to get some help. He was seen on CCTV speaking to two young individuals. He pleaded with them to call the emergency services. Thomas managed to travel 75 yards on his mobility scooter, shouting for help. The emergency services were soon dispatched along with an air ambulance. Paramedics arrived on scene and did all they could. Sadly, Thomas passed away on the side of the road. Thomas's daughter continuously rang him, worried as to where he could be. She soon received a knock on the door from the police telling her the tragic news of what had happened to her father. The police soon went to work to find the person responsible. Soon after the attack had taken place, this CCTV still was released to the public, in hopes that somebody would be able to identify who this was. The police warned not to approach this man and to just call the authorities if he is sighted. As you can see in the image, the suspect is holding a large knife, and his gloves also appear to be covered in blood. Two days later, on the 18th of August, the suspect was caught. The man's name is Lee Byer. Lee is a 44-year-old man from Southall, West London, and has been charged with the murder. The investigation and the legal proceedings are currently in the early stages, so I shall do my best to update you all in the future if more information comes to light. On the 22nd of August, the judge set a plea hearing for November the 8th, 2022 with a provisional trial of up to three weeks from the 2nd of May, 2023. The death of Thomas launched the sixth murder investigation in just four days in London, and the 59th victim of homicide this year alone. And in a very bizarre statement, the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, has put down this recent spike in murders to the heatwaves in the UK, leaving many scratching their heads. Shortly after the murder of Thomas, those in the community raised their concerns in a meeting. The people were asking why the police were failing to protect the vulnerable. One person shouted, More and more, we are hearing about the elderly being targeted. We hear about people being surrounded by groups who try and take money from them. Some fight back, others don't. There are no police stations for us to go to anymore, they are all closing down. What makes this case stand out is due to a number of reasons. The victim was not just an elderly man, but also someone who needed assistance in the form of a mobility scooter. He was totally incapable of fighting back and was clearly vulnerable. 
You'd like to think that everyone in society would want to protect the elderly and the vulnerable, and not take advantage of them in any way. This person could have just easily taken the money, or if he wasn't able to, just run away. The callousness of this case is alarming, and has left many in the area fearing for their safety. This case shows the very best of society, a retired man spending his free time raising money for people in desperate need, and the worst of society, a man not only willing to mug an elderly man, but also willing to put a knife in his neck for a small amount of money.